Oh my gosh, it's never been used. Wow. and welcome back to my channel. Today I am at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. It's a really fun place to go in and find treasures because they have things for free sometimes. Everything is color coordinated. Let's go ahead and see what we can find today. Habitat for Humanity Restore. If you have a Habitat for Humanity in your area, make sure that you go and check it out. You might be surprised. I typically am when I come in here. Sometimes, you know, it's good and sometimes, you know, it's not. But hopefully it is today. Let's see if the colors and green is free. Purple is full price and green is free. Let's take a look. Go right behind you. Okay. Pardon me. I don't want to startle you. Sorry. Sorry. Don't want to startle you. Sorry. Okay. Let's see what's in here. We had some limoge. We got some the kitty cat. And slate. Francis, living in freedom, and we shall know the truth, and the true truth shall make you free. Francis and Doris and Warren. This is cute. This is very yellow. I'll have to look. This little Norman Rockwell print. Kitchen's open by appointment only. Heaven. All the cats that ever loved you will be waiting at the gate. Cute. Oh, a kitty cat. There are only two lasting bequests we can give our children. One is roots and the other is wings. Oh, I like to hear cats. Oh. Oh, their family picture ends up at the toy store. This is those pitiful children. Why would you want to hang that up? Those poor children. Oh, more cute. I'm just getting cute. Oh, it's Warren and Doris. They, Warren and Doris like cats. They did. Let's see anything else down here? Mice and it's corn. Oh, there's Doris. Doris had a cat house. Love me, love my cats. I like Doris. There's frames up there. Oh, some cardinals. This cardinal no longer works. Oh, there's purple. Purple's free. I think I really want that though. Big tomato. It's broken up there though. Cards. This little precious moment something I'm not gonna get. I have actually found some vintage calculators in here that I've sold for a decent amount of money. There's a little these can be used, you can put postcards and letters. I might grab that. I don't know. I have to figure out what yellow is. What does yellow give us? Address. Now we're talking. Okay. Let me go get my cart. Let's go get our cart and let's figure out what some of these color coordinated or color things. Purple's original price, yellow is 20% off, pink is 40% off, 
Blue is 60% off, orange is 80% off, and green is free. You remember that? Because I will not. Just having a blonde movement. I mean, blonde is, oh, I get it. Because blonde is spelled wrong. Some days are a total waste of makeup. I'm in shape. Round is a shape. But yellow is 20% off. Aw, when all else fails, hug the cat. That's cute. What's this one? High maintenance. Wonder, ooh. I wonder if this was Doris's. The Clayton Dickinson Company. I kind of like that. It's made out of pottery. Oh, look at these big cats on the pepper shaker. Oh, purple. Purple is free. And you can't argue with you can't argue with free. These are good. They're ring holders. Ten dollars. I don't think I'm gonna pay ten dollars, but they're twenty percent off with ten dollars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about you. I don't know that I want to pay that much for those. I got excited there for a minute. This is cute. It's cracked though. It's plastic. Sometimes I need to go one shelf at a time, Misty. You have to really look though because sometimes things are, they are broken. Meow, meow, meow. All right. Oh, baby. Hawk weather vane. Hmm. You see anything? There's some cats down there. What's this with the... It's purple. It's free. Aw. I'm gonna get that. Purple is the... Purple is the good color. What is this, though? Mud pie. She's going shopping at the mall. What on earth? What on earth is this? What do you put in her nose? Her, that is just, no. What on earth? It's made in China. I don't know about that. This Betty Boop. She don't do mornings. Look at all the cats. And all the little creatures. Well, this little, he was cute, but he's broken. How much are these cats? 50% off everything. Wait, what? So those are $5 then. Huh, well then that changes things. These little cats are cute, but there's no price on them. How much are they? A dollar. They're Linux. I think I'm... Oh, it's got a broken piece. Darn it. What is this? There's not a price on that. This is like a little toothbrush holder or something. Creations by Carol. Oh, look, he's hanging out with his peacock. Petals and pearls. So it's a, it's fifty percent off apparently. Look at all these little. Gosh, these are cute. Cri charming tails. I have a. I want to look those up and see if they're anything because there's a lot of them down here. All right, so I was mistaken. Purple is not free. Purple is original price. So green is free. So I'm gonna put these big cat shakers back. 
What else did we get that was purple? I mean, that's I'll pay a dollar for that. Okay. That changes things. Now I have to look for green. Green is the color. What's this? This is some vintage candles. I like the box that it's in. And some tins down there. Some more of these critters that I haven't looked up yet. They're cute, but uh, they're not worth much. I'm not gonna. This is Beatrice Potter. Oh, these been broken. Muffy. It's Linux. Muffy. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Oh my gosh, it's never been used. Wow. Slow cooker. Well, hello, it's me, and welcome to the haul portion of today's video. I love going to the restore. If you have a restore in your area, Habitat for Humanity restore, go check it out. I know that some people have told me that theirs don't have a, um, like a hard goods section. Well, it's all like building materials and stuff like that. But in ours, it's mainly that. And they have a little section, uh, well, you saw in the video, they have that little section of um, things. And I love going in there because we're looking for the free things, first of all. And, you know, we're looking for all kinds of things, but the free things just... Well, they're free and you kind of feel like there have been times that I have gone in there and I have like bought nothing I've just taken the free things so you're you're in there and you're filling you're filling up your stuff your cart with free things and then you're just walking out the door you feel a little weird I'm not gonna lie and I find myself saying I got all purple they're all purple I don't know it's just weird but I love going in there and we ended up getting some things that I don't normally buy and they are these, the, the little mouse figurines. We ended up buying, well, we looked, they had a lot of them. And we ended up looking all of them over to make sure we were getting some that didn't have any breakage or, you know, any flaws in any way. These are Charming Tales. And I didn't realize this when I was looking at them, but they're made by Fitz and Floyd. Uh, this one... They, they all have like a name, so they're easy to look up on eBay. And some of them were selling for, you know, $25, $30, which is insane. These were, the whole store was 50% off that day. So the majority of these were $1.50. And so we ended up just looking them over and getting all that they had. This one is, um, happy to see you're still with me. And it's a little mouse riding on a camel with a, Frankincense, incense, frankincense, gold, and myrrh. No. Oh. Frankincense, gold, and myrrh. Not incense. Oh, not incense. We're not talking about the 70s here. Okay. So, anyway, this next one is this one's cute. I mean, they're all cute. Oh, no. Isn't that just like you know everybody when they say oh this doesn't have any flaws well yeah it does right here in front of my face one of the little blades of grass is broken off right here well darn it well this little mouse is reading the good book and that little mouse is an angel up in heaven so this one i won't put on ebay i might try to sell it in a live sale um just so i can explain that there is damage to it it's nice to know you're watching over me Charming Tales. And then we have, this one's cute. It's the little mice in a teacup. I mean, they're really cute. This one is called, well, I don't know the tags covering it, but it's another Charming Tales. And then this one is a little girl mouse and she's stacking Easter eggs. You're the top bean. Ooh, this one's a limited edition. This one was $2, so we ended up paying a dollar for it. 
It's in good condition. I see nothing wrong with it. And then there's this one, the little mouse in a flower basket. Oh, oh crap. Well, darn it. Isn't that just the, that's just like, that's just would be my luck. The little bumblebee is missing a wing. And I thought I checked these over good. And there's two of them so far that have a little chip on them. Oh, he's still cute though. Okay, well, let me set those two aside. And then this one is a, well, maybe a mom or a grandpa or a grandma or a dad reading to all the little babies. Look at that one sleeping. Look at the towel. I mean, they're kind of, I want to say they're realistic because, I mean, they are like anthropomorphic mice. Um, I don't know. They covered up the sticker on this one too. This little mouse right here is pretty cute. All right. And then this one, these star, these stargazer lilies, these were in my wedding bouquet. So this is a little bumblebee and I like his little wings. Oh, he's so cute. Charming. Again, these are all the charming tales. This one's a little school. He's getting, doing one plus one. I thought he was giving himself an A plus. You've taught me so much. Cuties. This one's super cute too. He's, this one is Take Time to Dream. And he's a little mouse that's fallen asleep sitting next to his little party hat. A little balloon. And then I got this one. This one is May your holidays be filled with hidden charms. So this one's kind of neat because it's got this little hidden compartment here of a little gift. And so this little mouse is laying underneath that candy stick within all the presents and ornaments. And then this one is Santa and Mrs. Claus of Christmas cheer. Merry Christmas. This one is a limited edition, uh, 2007 is the date on that one. Oh, isn't it cute? It's got the little tag down here. And then this one's a little police. I'll always protect you. It's a little police mouse. Well, he's sitting on a policeman's hat. I don't think that he's a policeman. He's just hanging out with the police. And then the last one, I think this one is really pretty. It's the peacock. It's a little mouse sitting next to a peacock with the peacock feathers. Isn't that pretty? So the, several of these were going for really pretty good money. I'll try to put some comps. Well, maybe you've seen the comps. If I can, if I can put the comps in, I'll do that. And um, so you can see what the sold comps were for these. So pretty cute little things. All right, so I got all those. And then I ended up getting this basket for a dollar because... At the restore, you can't, like, they don't offer anything to wrap your stuff. Um, and they don't really give, well, they give you bags, but you wrap it all. I mean, you put the stuff in the bag yourself. So I kind of wanted a box or something that I could just lay these in. Because I didn't want to take the time to sit and wrap all of them. So I um, just went and grabbed a basket. So I can use this basket for something. Okay, and then I got this guy. He is, I'm not sure who he's made by, but he's a little salt and pepper shaker, a little bunny and carrot. So this is cute for Easter. He's just, he's just taped. His carrot is taped to his body. This, I don't know if this was broken when I bought it or if it broke after I bought it. It's taped together. I can't tell. I think it was broke when I bought it because it seems like it was glued together. And I'm so upset about it, but it's made by that Takakashi, San Francisco, 1980. But it's this little kitty cat heart container. But you see, it's, it has a crack right there. So I don't know what to do with this. I suppose, you know, as with, as with anything, when I'm showing these hauls, if there's something that you're interested in, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and 
you know, we can talk about how much the price is and all that. So I don't know. It's cute. It's a cat, but I didn't realize that it was cracked. I don't know. I also got this little hammered aluminum. Well, it looks like a taco, but it is a napkin ring. But I thought, you know, if you have vintage ephemera, you know, you can put your, your pictures or your ephemera in this little hammered aluminum taco. It was a dollar. And I got this little thing. I just thought it was cute. It's real art etched in clay. It was a dollar. It's made by Spooner Creek. But it says, when all else fails, hug the cat. I thought it was cute. It's like a little plaque. 2003. And then I got this one. It reminded me of Sugar Britches. Sugar Britches Vintage Roots Collection. That is her YouTube channel. Go Make sure that you go and check it out. I'll link her channel down below. You guys hear me talk about Sugar Britches all the time. And Sugar Britches is my soul sister. Let's just be honest because we are very similar. And I adore her. And I think that this is little Sugar Britches. Sugar Britches. Now, this says that... I don't think that Sugar Britches is high maintenance. But I don't know. I just thought this... Was, I thought that this was neat. It's made out of like a clay. But I like that her boobies are hanging out. Look at that. Her boobies. They are popping out. She is high maintenance. This says it's the Clayton Dickinson Company. Product of Canada. I paid a dollar for it too. Oh, there we go. I don't know. Just thought it was neat. High maintenance. Little sugar britches. And then the last thing that I got. Now, these were marked $10. So I ended up paying $5 for them. And they are these cat... The, as you can see in the video, this lady that all her stuff got do, got donated to the restore, which is kind of sad, but she was a cat lady, apparently. There was all kinds of cat things. Well, now, Misty, goodness gracious, could just open the bag like a normal person, and you'd be good. All right, so these were silver-plated, made in China, but these are nice. They're cat ring holders, and they're different. Like, this one has the tails standing straight up, not when the tails, you know, to the side. So they are different. Their stance is different, but they have blue diamond eyes. I did pay, you know, I paid $5 for the set of them, but um, I think they're pretty neat. I think they're pretty cool. And I probably will sell them separately. But altogether, I spent, on everything that I showed you, I spent $26. And if I sell one of these little mouse creatures, then that make, that pay, that'll pay for everything. So that's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. So make sure that if you have a Habitat for Humanity Restore, that you go in. Don't forget that they're there. Go in and check it out and see if they have a, a hard goods section and it's not all building supplies. So I highly recommend that you do. Thank you so much for going along on the fall, the shop along with Mark and I. And thank you so much for watching this haul video. Don't forget at the end of this video to leave me a comment. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Hit the bell notification. Sometimes I'll just go live and I don't announce it. So you want to make sure that you do hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I go live. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.